Hey, hi guys. So let's look at this question here. This question was that 2021. Okay. So this question here says that Mohan um, has some money, rupees M, that he divides uh, in the ratio of 1 is to 2. Okay. And uh, he then deposits the smaller amount in savings scheme that offers a certain rate of interest and a larger amount in the another savings scheme that offers half the half of that interest. Okay. Both interest compound yearly. At the end of two years, the total interest earned from the two savings scheme is rupees eight thirty. It is known that when the interest rate is ten percent, and that Mohan deposited more than rupees thousand in each savings scheme uh, at the start. What is the value of M? Okay. So now, what uh, actually uh, what uh, I can assume in this question here that total I can assume the total amount here. That total amount can be equal to because it's a ratio of one is to three, so one plus two is three, and take some larger numbers. You can take it like three hundred x, okay. So that the calculation is easier, okay. So the total amount will be three hundred x, right? In the ratio of one is to two, so obviously a smaller amount will be equal to a hundred x, you know, and the larger amount will be equal to the larger amount will be equal to. Uh, 200x. That is the ratio of 1 is to 2. So actually, in this question, I need to make two cases here. Why? Because it's it doesn't say that uh, one scheme is half of the other rate of interest, and the one rate of interest is 10 percent actually. Okay, and that Mohan deposited more than rupees thousand in each saving scheme. So what I can do here is I can take up two cases here. Okay, two cases I can take up here. So in the first case, I can take a smaller amount as 100x. Okay, and I can say the rate of interest. So on hundred x, the rate of interest is ten percent, and in the other amount, that is the larger amount, it should be half. That is, let's say it is five percent here. Okay, so and in the other case, I'll can I'll just reverse that. Okay, so now what will happen? So uh, the time period here is two years. Okay, so they're looking at the end of two years. So obviously, at hundred x for ten percent per annum. The interest will be on hundred x. The uh, at it is CI right? Okay, that is compounded annual yearly. So hundred x ten percent increase becomes hundred ten x, or ten percent again increase becomes one twenty one x. Or you can use successive formula. So what I'm trying to say that the CI here is twenty one x. So from hundred x to one twenty one x, CI is equal to twenty one x. Correct. Similarly, now two hundred increases by five percent here. So now 200x, that is 5% increase, will have 5% of 200 is 10, that becomes 210x, and again that 5% increase, right? So it's 10% is 21, so half is 10.5. That should be 220.5x. So in this case, the CI will be 20.5x, correct? The CI is 20.5x here. Okay. So what I can uh, what I can do here is. So once CI is twenty point five x and this is to a twenty one x, so that uh, sum here, okay. So the total value here, the total interest is eight thirty. So what I can write that let's say twenty uh, one x. So let's say I can write here. So twenty one x plus uh, that's twenty point five x is equal to eight thirty. So if I solve here, so forty one point five x is equal to eight thirty. That means x will be equal to twenty, and I have assumed the amount as hundred x and two hundred x. So in that case, the smaller amount will be equal to hundred into twenty. That is rupees two thousand, है ना? And here this larger amount will be two hundred into twenty. That is rupees four thousand. Okay, so that's the amount here, rupees four thousand. Correct. That that's that's that this case uh, goes perfectly fine, ah, yeah? because he deposited more than thousand rupees in each saving. This goes case goes perfectly fine. Now look at case two. What the, what can be case two here? So case two actually can be uh, when I can say that on the smaller amount, the rate of interest is twenty percent. So on hundred x, because one is ten, and the other is basically half of that interest. So one is half. So one value is known as ten percent, right? So if ten is the half, the other can be twenty percent here, and if ten is the one, that means the other can be five percent here. Correct. That's what I'm I'm saying here. Okay. So what I can say in the other case that on hundred x, ah, uh, let's say the interest is twenty percent. 
uh, in that case in 200x so first case i took 10 percent right so in the second case i'll take 200x as 10 percent now and this will have kind of uh sorry now this will have kind of increase here so 200x at 10 percent uh change i can say okay so again 100x at 20 percent increase the total interest will be you can simply calculate that 100x 20 increase will become 120x and 120x 20 increase will become 144x similarly 200x 10 increase will become 220x and 220x 10 increase again that that is 22 that will be 242x correct 242x okay so now if i add uh i think i'm right okay yeah so if i if i add this uh so in this case what is ci now the ci in this case is 44x okay and ci in this case is 42x so if i add up these values so it's it basically gives me the sum is 830 so 42 plus 42 uh, 44 plus 42 86x is equal to 830 right so once 86x is 830 so x is somewhat if you calculate the value here so x will be less than 10 so once x is uh, less than 10 that basically means that 100x will be less than 1000 obviously and this is not possible because uh, both the amounts are more than 1000 so this case is actually eliminated okay so uh, if you understand this basically it says that the uh, now no other case needed right because it says that the larger amount in another savings scheme that offers half of that rate of interest so larger is always having offering half so in one case if 100x is 10 percent larger is the half five percent in the other case when one rate is 10 and it should be half of the other other amount that is should be actually 20 percent right okay so that that two cases actually come together okay so in this case what is my answer so my answer will be what is the value of m so m is a uh, total amount here so that is 4000 plus 2000 therefore m will be so case 2 will not go so case 2 is not correct right okay so therefore case 1 only case 1 is correct so therefore m is equal to 2000 plus 4000 that is equal to 6000 okay so that's the answer here so this was a question from that 2021 a good question okay on this spot you need to solve it actually easy one only yeah but you need to look at two cases actually okay